the gentle movement of the crane are a great method to prepare or recover for surgery in the torso. Not only that those movements are great for the recovery and preparation, but they're also great for dealing with any other soft tissue problems, frozen shoulders, rotated cuff problems, neck, migraines, as well as the surgery. The movement of the crane are integrated with deep breathing and evoking the spirit of feeling like you are the crane, doing the different actions with the wings that we will teach you in this series. The first motion is the crane playing with his wings from outside to inside. So you can see how I move my arms like wings and I inhale and exhale. Yeah, you can do about 30 seconds to a, a minute, 30 seconds to a minute each movement. Remember to change the breathing at, at different parts of the movement. So you do 10 or 30 seconds movement with inhaling out here through the nose. And then after 30 seconds or 10 repetition, you change it and you inhale here and exhale here. So by changing the breath with the movement, you stimulate different lung cells and you add force from the inside to stretch the skin, the fascia and the muscles, either on the front or on the back, depending on the method you use your breath. This is, can be done both sitting and standing. So when you stand, you just pretend like you're standing on a bamboo and you're the crane and you do the motions of the wings from outside to the center. So this is a great motion that will also free your skeleton from being a prisoner of the soft tissue. So that's part of our goal is to have freedom in the skeleton and open the soft tissue as much as possible. So perform this movement, either 10 or 20 repetition or about a minute, and then you can go on to the next movement of the crane. I wanna teach you now a beautiful two movements of the crane flying and recovering from the long flight. So take the spirit of the crane. Yeah, if you can, close your eyes and just try to imagine one of those cranes you saw throughout your life and just imagine you're that crane. And then you're soaring to the sky and you start flying. So you can start with very small motions of your wings you start very small and again integrate the breathing, inhale and exhale. Again, this can be done sitting or standing. Yeah. Then make the motions bigger and bigger. Yeah, you can do the whole thing for about a minute or 20 to 30 repetitions. Even that I'm still flying and using my breath, I'm still visualizing the lower energy center moving the abdominal muscles in on the inhalation and out on the exhalation. I'm using my whole torso. I'm the turtle back or stretch the spine ball and the chest ball and release, stretch and release. So this deals with the core. It opens and closes it and you add the wings and the breath and that does tremendous positive healing work to the whole torso. So imagine you're the crane flying, soaring in the sky. So once you get to the largest motion here, just do about 10 repetitions or 20 seconds. And then once you finish that, then start going back to small motions again, gradually until you're done again. So remember, you start small and grow bigger and bigger. You get to the maximum, which is about shoulder heights, and you do about 10 to 20 repetition, and then you go back to smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until very small motions. 
So all of it should take either 30 repetitions altogether or a minute or two at the most. Remember to integrate the internal skills. So deep breathing, the internal visualization of the lower energy center, the movement of the abdominal and the back muscles, which massages your internal organs and lead blood and oxygen. Evoking the spirit by either taking the spirit of the crane or putting your mind in the heaven and the earth and in your center or both. The second piece of this crane is the crane recuperates. So after a long flight that the crane flew, now the crane stands on a bamboo. And a lot of time what the birds do, they just open their wings a little bit sideways to let the air go in and recuperate from a long distance flight. At the same time, this second part of the motion, we add a little piece. So we rock from the heels to the ball of the foot, from the heels to the ball of the foot. That's like the bamboo, you're a crane on a bamboo and the wind is blowing and you're moving with the bamboo. When the bamboo moves back, you actually move forward. And when the bamboo moves forward, you move back. So when the bamboo back, when your weight is on your heel, your arms, the wings move forward. And when the weight is on the ball of the foot, the wings move back. So what you have, you have a little bit of rock in the soles of the feet, and then the arms move opposite than where you rock. So if I rock to the ball of the foot, my arms go back. If I rock to the heels, my arms move forward. It's not my arms, really, it's my wings. So, yeah. And again, the same principle as crane flying. You start with very small motions, and then you make them bigger, slowly, but gradually, and bigger. Once you reach the, t the peak of the motion here, which is the shoulder height, you stay here for about 20 to 30 seconds or 10 to 20 repetition. And then once you're done with it, you start making it smaller and smaller and smaller until you get to the smaller motions and you're done. So remember, first the crane flies, then it recuperates from the flights. Integrate your internal skills and this motion will go a long way. I recommend sometimes to do it outside in nature or up standing on a rock or by the ocean. So going out and doing it in nature adds a lot of energy and power to the exercise. I will introduce you to the third uh, set of movement, which is crane attacks from the top to the bottom and Crane circles his wings. So those two movements, are they cover one more angle that Crane flies, Crane recuperate, and Crane moves from the outside in, and one hand at a time doesn't cover. So you can see this angle is the one more angle that we need to cover that is missing in the torso. So, again, it can be done sitting or standing. The same principles apply to the movement here as the other one I taught you. So you want to integrate your breathing. Let's say I'm going to inhale here. And as I attack, exhale, and then in and out. Remember, the motions can be done first small. And then the stretch in the torso is not as violent. You want to do 80% effort. You want to treat the, if you're recovering from surgery, or if you have frozen shoulder or other restriction in the soft tissue, you want to pull in the soft tissue in such a way that too much will inflame it. Too little won't help it heal as fast. So there's an exact science or an exact area that when you pull with the breathing and the angle that it will help healing versus stagnate or injure it. So, you have to listen to your body. You have to understand what is the 80%? Am I doing it or am I doing 100? So when you, when you go, you can go smaller or larger. And then by adding the breath in, you add more stretching from the inside out. Again, do about 20 to 30 repetition. And or a minute to two in time. Again, this can be done sitting, standing, even lying in bed. 
Integrate your internal skills. Lower energy visualization, movement of the abdominal back muscles, putting the mind either in the lower energy visualization or evoke the spirit. Or both, if you're good in the visualization. The second part of this movement is isolating one wing at a time. So it's like a crane plays with his wings. So it plays this way. and then that one and then that way yeah so you can see this is a little more each side gets its own separate movement well here it's more symmetric so each one of the crane pieces you're gonna get a lot of movement through the torso, and this is a great method to prepare or recover for surgery or deal with any soft tissue problems within the torso. Mix up your internal skills with it, be consistent, and remember that those moves that you're learning, they're not just for health. You're also learning martial art moves. So awake the warrior within you and take the spirit of the crane and let's do it.